play all of the top cans. Have you guys had a fantastic week? Good! Um, so, hopefully I'll have seen you on Zoom for our news and spotlights and games. But if you have some news now, you can pause me and then go and tell your news to somebody in your house. Go! Great, well done. Um, so, we're going to start with a game today. We're going to do name five things. So, we've played this before. So, um, I'm going to give you a category and then you have got 10 seconds to um, name five things in that category. Okay, so, your first thing is, your first category is name five ice cream flavours. Go! Two, one, good job. Okay, now name five things that you would find at the beach. Name five things you'd find at the beach. Go! time don't worry just pause it and take as much time as you need okay um okay your next thing is name five animals five animals go Name five vegetables. Go! Well done, everybody. Very, very good. Okay, so we are going to do our warm up now. Um, do you remember the one we used to do? The Jess Glynn one? Good. So, so find some space.
two different tasks actually. So um, the first thing I want you to do um, is I'm going to give you a category and then I want you to talk about that category for one whole minute. So if you can time yourself, that would be really good. Now doing this really, really helps you to think on the spot. So really good for improvisation, because sometimes you really, really need to do that. Like when you're on stage and then yourself or somebody else may forget their lines, the show must go on. So you have to really think on the spot, okay? So this is really, really helpful for that. So I'm gonna give you um, your categories. So your first one is food. So talk for one minute about food. Now you can include foods that you like, that you dislike, um, cooking, restaurants, um, anything really, anything about food, okay? Um, food might, you might have at a party, okay? Um, so there's your first category, food. Second thing I want you to talk about for one minute is the summer. Okay, so in that you might want to talk about where you like to go on holiday, um, ice creams, like swimming, um, like the summer holidays from school. Okay, so summer is your next category. And your last category I would like you to talk about is animals. So it could be your favourite animals, it could be animals you find in different countries, in the jungle, or it could be your pets at home. So animals is your third category. So food, summer, and animals. Okay. Um, the next thing is we're going to roll a story. So all you need is a normal dice. And um, I'm going to send out the sheet along with your lesson plan so you can see. But basically, on the on the sheet, it's got the you can't see this, but it's got the numbers of the dice on one side, and then you need to roll the dice three times. The first roll is going to give you your character. Okay. The second roll that you roll is going to give you its setting. And the final roll is going to give like the problem, so what happens in the story. Okay, so we're going to do an example all together and then um, you can have a go at home and do it as many times as you want. So you can write a story or you can create a drama scene. Okay, so... Um, your first, I've done this, I did this earlier with my dice. So um, I rolled a two for my first, which is my character. Now, that is a detective. So our character is a detective. Okay, so now I need to roll again for the setting. And that came up as a four. And that was inside a cave. Okay, so we've got a detective inside a cave. And your last one was a two again, and it was he found an unlucky penny. So there was a detective in a cave and he found an unlucky penny. So can you create a story or a drama scene out of that, please? And then have a look at the sheet yourself and um, roll the dice and make up as many drama scenes as you like. Um, you could also make up your own sheets. So you could write the number of dice and then you could write your own characters, your own settings and your own plots, okay? So um, it's completely up to you. Good, very, very well done. Um, now we need to get on with our dance, don't we? So we started the dance last week and now we're going to add a little bit to it. Okie okay, dokie, okay. so for our dance, we learned the first bit last week.
first week, but I'll just go over that for you again without the music. So we start and we are just bobbing on the spot. So our shoulders are going up and down and our knees are going in and out. Okay. And then we are going to kick to the front, side, back, together. Front, side, back, together. Front, side, back, together. Front, side, back, together. Cool. And then we go forward, forward, back, back. Now you click if you can, but if you can't, don't worry. Just Throw your arms, pretend to click. Okay, so forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, back, out, out, in, in, leg, leg, clap, and clap. Okay, and again, forward, forward, back, back, forward, forward, back, back, out, out, in, in, leg, leg, clap, and clap, and forward, forward, back. Forward, forward, back, back, out, out, in, in, leg, leg, clap and clap. And then we just throw our arm up, arm up, bounce it down, up, up, bounce it down, up, up, bounce it down, two to the side, two to the side, two to the side, two to the side. Cool. Now the new bit. So we are going to step our foot to the side along with our arms, okay? So they go up together. Okay, now you're going to bring your arms down. You're going to transfer your weight onto that leg you put to the side. And as your arms come down, this foot is going to meet it. Okay, so like this. So it's just a step. So let's try it without the arms for a minute. Just do the step together, step together, back that way, step together, step together. Let's try it with the arms, step together, step together, step together, step together. Arms out, down, arms out, down, arms out, down, arms out, down. Okay, so we're going to do two to the side, two to that side, and then our out, out, in, in, leg, leg, clap, and a clap, and again, two, three, four, out, out, in, in, leg, leg, clap, and a clap, and we repeat that again, and then we just do our, throw our arms up, bounce, Throw our arms up, bounce, throw our arms up, bounce, two to the sides. Okay, so let's try it with the music.
just that, it's just for fun. So uh, go for it, well done. Okay, so after all that dancing, I need to take a little moment to do some breathing. So we're just going to do our breaths in for four, hold for four, out for six, okay? So breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, release, two, three, four, five, six. And again, breathe in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, and release, two, three, four, five, six. Well done. So what I would like you to do is, so you can get a piece of paper, as big as, as you like, whatever colour you like, and I just want you to write your name in big bubble letters, okay? So big bubble letters, um, and colour it in nice and pretty. And then um, around your name, I would like you to write as many positive things about yourself that you can. So um, it could be what you like to do, what you think you're good at, what you're proud of, um, what you like about yourself, um, anything you like, but it all has to be positive, okay? And then if you like, you can put them up in your bedroom, you can frame them. I'd like to see them. If you could send me a picture, that would be amazing. Um, so that is all for today. Very, very well done. Um, and if, if I get some pictures this week of yours, I'll write mine, draw my name and with all my positive things about myself and I will show you next week. Okay, so have a fantastic week everyone. Um...